So what boudin is, is it's a Cajun sausage, you know, from the New Orleans area, and it's pork and rice, essentially, and there's different ways to cook it. It can be grilled, it can be fried, but apparently the most traditional way to make it is to steam it, which one of our friends from the area says is his least favorite way. Right. But we're still gonna, you know, we're gonna do the most traditional. We're gonna try the three boudin that we brought, and uh, you're gonna be right here with us. So, you know, it's just some fun thing that we got here while visiting New Orleans. All right, we'll boudin right back. Oh. We are at stop number one. Stop number one is of, Billy's in Scott. Yeah, and Louisiana. We are on a boudin quest. Yeah. And this is one of the top recommended places that we receive. So this is one of the places that we're going to stop, buy some boudin, and then later we're going to have a boudin off. Yeah. <laughs> so the smell in here is pretty spectacular, and there it is. And there, they clearly are. Sorry, that was a bit fast. Might slow it down a bit. A little vomitron on. Stop number two. Number two. In Scott, Louisiana, for the best boudin is the best stop. Now, we're not saying it's the best stop. It's called the best stop. And some people say it's the best stop. I think this boudin thing is a thing. It's a thing. Here's stop number three. <laughs> it's the Superette in Eunice. And Alicia said, make sure you see the big pig. And we saw the big pig. So we are going in for Boudin from stop number three. They say it's fresh daily. Okay, so here we are in the camper with our three different Boudin. We have from the Superette pork Boudin parish rice. I don't know if parish is a kind of rice, but anyway. That's Parish Rice Pork Boudin. This is from the Superette in the town of Eunice. And this one's a little surprising. This is one sausage or boudin, and this is the other. So they're quite large. This one also says that this is a boiling bag. However, this is too much for us to eat right now. <laughs> so we think? will open the package and we're going to steam them all together. From the best stop in Scott we got mild boudin and this is three sausages and so we will cook up one of those in the steamer and from Billy's also in Scott we got a package of three they're a little more pale and a little shorter and fatter than the ones from the best stop so we're gonna open each package we're gonna steam one of each of these in our steamer and then we will taste them all and see what we think. Voila. So we have our three boudin. Uh-huh. This is from Billy's. And it exploded. It kind of exploded out both ends. This is from Best Stop. And this one was from the Superette. It's, um, I think the casing, there's like little stringies off the casing. Hmm. I don't think it's a problem, but... Anyway, which one do you want to try first? Well, since the Billy's... Oh, hang on. We're going to also need a beer. And this is from Abita Brewing Company, which was a brewery we really enjoyed. Well, I really enjoyed <laughs> in uh, in Mardi Gras. In Mardi Gras. In New Orleans. In Abita Springs. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. Okay. okay. So we'll try the Billy's because it's... Conveniently yeah, un it's like decasinized, decasingized. Good. That is good. It, ooh. There's a lot of um. There's a little bite. Yeah. Surprise sneaks up on you. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. I taste a lot of the um, the seat like the green whatever the herbs are. I yeah. can taste. Yeah, and apparently what's in these is pork and pork liver, uh, rice, and rice, obviously. And then seasonings. And, uh, peppers, like bell peppers and onions mm. and and uh, some seasoning. Okay. And this one has 
you know, it has some seasoning. It's got a nice texture. Oh, we're going that one next. Okay. Going to Best Buy. Best Buy. <laughs> Best Stop. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, um, when you go to these places to buy this boudin, they are an operation. I, I yeah. thought they'd just be like a store. You can go to a drive through like they have drive through windows. Right, and it's they're and, basically butchers. Yeah, but but they do I mean what a business. Oops. Well yeah, and apparently they're natural casings, which makes sense, so which might also be I mean if you fry these like in <laughs> butter or grill them, the casing will kind of crisp up, which you know that wouldn't be a bad thing. So I'm gonna try something really quickly. I'm gonna okay. see how easy this was to cut because we didn't test that. I'm gonna okay. See how easy this so is this to one the billies actually this the casing's nice and really soft it cuts pretty nicely this one's got a, a tougher i don't know not okay. tough but Whoops. a stronger casing it's more pink uh -oh. color losing. Ah. go ahead so you can see um almost like greens in there the right ah. you can kind of see the greens the color is a pinker color of the meat Definitely a different texture. I think the texture is not as fine. Yeah. Right? Like things are not ground up as Ooh, fine. Oh, but you can get the veggies. Mm hmm. It has no. It doesn't yeah, have no that kick. kick, that bite. Mm hmm. But it's tasty. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's good. All right. And the superette. Superette. I'll take a. So the first two were from the town of Scott, and this superette is in Eunice. Reminds me of that old TV show with uh, Mama's Mama's Mama family. Eunice. Yeah, Eunice. This one's also pretty easy to cut. It's got a little bit of that bigger texture. Now and, and loose. I kind of made a mess of that. Now so apparently, can I take that bite? No, I'm gonna do this so I don't pollute okay. it with the other one. Um, apparently, a lot of people and we had these. We'll take just the innards out of this. You know the. The, the meat and rice yeah, the part. Yeah, meat and rice. And fry it in a ball, and they're called boudin balls. Boudin balls. We had those for breakfast. Yes, right. we did. Hmm. Hmm. This one, I think, is, like, richer. Like, more meat. Yeah. More, um... Not in a bad way, but more Ooh. meat fat, more oily, and it does have a kick. Yeah, it's got a kick, but not Both kicks unpleasant. sneak up on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I... Okay, so which one do you like the best? Right, there's the question. I don't know. Yeah, I... I, I wouldn't... I would not turn any of them down. No. I would probably buy them all again. I might I might like this one the best. Okay. Second, third, so what is my order? She remembers the name of the places. So you like the superette? Mm-hmm. Followed by best stop and then Billy's. Okay. That's my preference. But you know it's subjective. I like I don't know. I like <laughs> um, I think I like the billies a lot. Okay. None of it's hard to yeah. say. If, none of them is bad. There's right. nothing it's, that's not good. Right, and I mean, if, if I guess any my of these... order might be billies, superette, and um, best stop, but for no reason. Like I can't. Okay. Not because I don't like best stop. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I think they're also similar enough. Right. That. It's not like, oh man, one really stands out. They're very, right. very similar. They're all boudin, Slight, after all. Yeah. So, anyway, well, that's what happens when you come to New Orleans. When you, you come to Louisiana. Yeah, you come to Louisiana. You learn about things you never... Now, of course, we'd all heard of beignets. Everybody's heard of beignets, yeah. right? And we did eat our share of beignets. <laughs> but honestly, until we started planning our trip to the New Orleans area... I never heard of boudin. Right, our friends from the area told us about them. Like, what's boudin? And now, here we are and now trying we're it. Addicted. <laughs> so, oh, and uh, turbo also dog. Also a good beer. 
So, anyway, well, there we go. Uh, do you have a favorite boudin? You can leave a comment in the notes below. Uh, and, of course, join us on our weekly adventure at the Stresses Camping Podcast. Visit us at StressesCamping.com for deals, discounts, stories, and more. And cheers, everybody. Happy camping. Laissez le, le, le bon, bon temps rouler. Hi, this is stop number three. This is the Super Ed in Eunice. And Alicia said, make sure you go where the big cow is. So no, that's not a cow. That would be a pig. Yeah, that's what I meant. Laissez le bon. Uh oh. Laissez le bon temps. Yeah, what she said. Do it again.